So everybody talks about how uh, it's very weird and uncommon that my dad is a bigger weeb or an anime fan than I am. So I wanted to take the time to ask him about how he got his start in anime and how he feels about me wasting my liver away on, on anime drinking games. So hello, welcome to the channel, uh, my dad. What up, you know? <laughs> in, in perfect fashion. I caught him while he is drinking, so how's the night? It's it's late for recording. Yeah, it's about 11. Uh, I had a couple of shots, a couple of drinks. and a couple of shots? What are you drinking? Saki. Oh, Saki, that's what it is. Hey, real quick, before the video starts, we have our first official drop from our new website and our new clothing brand, Chump. You can get these new shirts at chump.store. They're really good quality. These are my favorite shirts to date. Uh, I personally like the, the chump shirt in the maroon, but a lot of people like the drinking club shirt, the skeleton looking one. It's really cool, really spooky looking. Go pick one up at chump.store right now. Uh, thanks, and let's go talk to my dad. How did you get into anime? What was like your start? And how did it how did it manifest into like a love for the for the for the culture? Okay. So to tell the truth. <laughs> yeah, tell this story. I love this story. Me and your mom, we got into an argument. So I had to sleep on the couch. <laughs> so I fell asleep on the couch and the TV was on. Right? right? I woke up, I turned and looked at the TV, and I was like, what the hell is this? It was some Japanese anime that was on <clears throat> back in the day, which you couldn't get anywhere. I don't know how it popped up on the television, but it was Dragon Ball Z. And I sit there and watch it because I was sobered up. And they started showing power levels. They was fighting and all this good stuff. And I was like, what? <laughs> Oh, <laughs> this is dangerous. So next Sunday, I woke up on purpose at seven, and uh, sure enough, they showed the next episode, and it kept rolling. This was during the Dragon Ball Z saga when Raditz and uh, his ball headed name. Napa. It was when uh, oh, I can't remember what it was when they came to Earth and Piccolo hit him with a special bean cannon. So I started watching it from there. And they kept looping it. And I got mad. And I was like, ah, what the hell? I stopped watching it. I didn't know that you could go see this online at any point in any time. Right. You just watched it during a tsunami or during some anime special. And uh, Dragon Ball Z was the original for me. And it was the one who started popping it off. You had, still to this day, the most impressive collection of VHS tapes for Dragon Ball Z that I've ever <laughs> seen. I have it now. You gave it to me, but it was the entire saga up to the Kid Buu saga. And I think even yeah. a little bit further than that into like maybe even GT. There's definitely a couple of GTs in there. I, I recorded them because I, I, I loved it. I wanted to watch the same episode at least two or three times so I could absorb it and see what was happening and then make my own judgment of how i felt about the characters and stuff to this day vegeta is still my favorite character he's a baddie but he's a goodie too <laughs> and he hates to admit it it's kind of like me i will go help the homeless but i ain't gonna tell anybody <laughs> <laughs> you you had like the full set where it would show the entire fight of what was happening in the east side it was crazy uh if i have pictures of it or if the editor if you have pictures of it please show it on the screen because it's nuts he had he had all of them now i have them um they're in the garage i actually still keep them around keep them oh yeah they're gonna be worth a million billion dollars i probably won't ever sell them though i think i think that's a like a fun piece of history what are your top five anime or i guess you're just your top <laughs> your top five media because you read a lot of like manga Manwa, like you read a lot of webtoons. So right now, you don't have to go all the time because it, it would take you forever. I, I think I know like the first couple, but just right now, where are you at with your top five? It is hard for me because the new stuff coming out is so great that it's challenging the old school stuff. But you know, I'm an old school champion. You can't F with old school stuff that got me into the game. I'm gonna give you five and then I'm gonna give you two or three more. Okay. And the reason, the reason being is because Anime is so great from top to bottom. Even the crappiest anime you could get a chuckle out of because you could find something that's a gem out of it. You'd be like, man, look at this anime. It's terrible. They ain't got no flow. Nothing's going on with it. You can't figure out what the story is. The pictures and the comedy in it, whatever it is, there you'll find something in it. It's great. So, top five anime, and people are going to hate this, but... 
I always go with. Should I say it? No. Uh, this is your list. Hey, no one can stop you. In no particular order. Let's put it in no, no, particular, no particular order. order. Okay, so obviously Dragon Ball Z got me into it. And then you got One Piece that is probably my all-time favorite. One Piece. And then you got Bleach, right. which is probably my all-time favorite. <laughs> Dang it, I haven't watched it in a while. Uh, it's with... Uh, it'll come to me here in a second. Uh, the dragons. What was the, the dragon? There was three dragons. There was a steel dragon. There was a uh, fire dragon. Fairy tale? Fairy tale. That is exactly it. I love fairy tale. <laughs> that is exactly it. All those damn dragons that was fighting each other and... Uh, Natsu was ended up being the best one of them all. And I had his name in my head, but I couldn't think of his Urza and all the rest of them. Number what is number five? Yeah, that's four. Remind you, I've been drinking. <laughs> number five is my new one, and uh, the brother and his sister was a Demon Slayer. You like Demon Slayer? I had to put Demon Slayer in there because. It is so effing awesome. But I say how awesome Demon Slayer is, it can jump to number one. Uh, the videos I like better, but I also read. It is up there with the best of them. Okay, so I gave you that. And then your Jujutsu Kaisen. Yes, thank you. Is in there. That son of a gun is so hard. Yep. It is like steel. Yep. <laughs> no, it's like diamond. Jujutsu Kaisen, and then there was another one, but it's about these people that go to an island. Hell's Paradise. Yeah, Hell's Paradise. Oh, yeah, bruh. yeah, yeah, yeah. This one is cold blooded. Yep. And then I can go into Mangwas and Mangwas and all this other stuff, Chinese versions of it. Marshall Peak, my favorite one of them all. Oh, and I read yeah. that. <laughs> yeah, you talk about that one all the time. Because people don't really know, like, you are invested. Like, because, you know, I say name your top five, and you're like, oh, Bleach, One Piece, you know, whatever. And those are like, pretty typical nowadays for people that get into it but you're like really in it so what is marshall peak marshall peak is one of the greatest animes that i've ever read there's six thousand and fifty three chapters i think i read them all it is so good i read a, i read one piece in a week I, I don't know if i remember telling you about it but i read all of it from 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 chapter one because i never watched it like my dad showed me like marine ford and stuff like that one thousand like seventy two one thousand something like that this is just casual light work for you i read novels in between updates of the animes so when the anime updates i'll let it get to like 10 <laughs> chapters then i'll read the chapters because i'm already heading them light novels i'll be like yeah they almost match the anime but there's a little bit of difference in this <laughs> yeah yeah man yeah you're in the cut have you seen attack on titan yes yeah, so i've watched attack on titan but i the fact that they treated the main character like crap i was mad and I turned it off. Okay. <laughs> That's fair. You can't do this to the main character. That's fair. You, the main character is the main character. They just dogged his ass, and I was like, uh-uh. <laughs> I'm turning the channel. So the next question is from Sanji. His name on Twitter is Sanji. Uh, what? Yeah. What is your least and your favorite main character of the big three, which is Naruto, One Piece, and Bleach? And who is the best main character of Naruto, One Piece, and Bleach? You have to rank them. Well, you know, I'm going Luffy first. Okay. I was going Luffy first. The Naruto and Ichigo. God damn, that is tough. That's a tough question. I don't even know I can go Luffy first. I'm, I might have to go Ichigo. He's my first love, man. I was going to say, you love Bleach. <laughs> yes. Yes. Naruto, I followed him to the finish. Man, that is a tough one. So if I'm going to go, I'm going to go. Luffy, Ichigo, and Naruto. That's In a right. tough look, <laughs> it's a margin like this. They don't have very much space. And if I'm feeling frisky and I'm not drunk, I might flip it around. <laughs> <laughs> when I was younger and I used to spend like summers over there, he used to walk around. He used to walk around. <laughs> he used to walk around the house and he used to point at me and he'd go, Bonkai. Like that all the, <laughs> all the time. Wadi wadi. Yeah, wadi wadi bon guy. He used to do that all the time. Yeah, no. I'm I, I figured you were gonna say hey, first. I did that in public. <laughs> I'll be playing darts, I'll be like, hey, wadi wadi bon guy. I was raising my level. <laughs> <laughs> you were about to show them the Zompakto. Yeah, I was pulling it out on them. That's what the darts were. 
No. <laughs> they couldn't handle it. What is your favorite? I don't know if you even watch the uh, intros to them, but what is your favorite intro to an anime? Like the songs. Oh, man. Are you kidding me? Yeah. That's easy. Oh, you like Cowboy Bebop. Okay. And then the second one is Big O. Oh, they don't Nobody know about Big O. They don't know about Big O. Big O. It's the second big o. interest in the history of it. Big O. Big O. Big O. That's actually a really good one. I thought you were going to put uh, Samurai Champloo in there. Not going to lie. Well, it is a great one. Yeah. But the greatest ever, Cowboy, Cowboy Bebop. Bebop. That's fair. That's fair. Let's go. I don't think anybody's uh, yeah, I think you're going to, I think you're just going to please everybody that watches this. I think they're just going to be like, he's, he's, he doesn't have a bad opinion about anything. I'm the greatest anime guy ever. <laughs> Andrew asks, what's an underrated gem of an anime that you would suggest everybody should watch? Something that a lot of people wouldn't know about. One of them that I read, and I read it because he slaps the shit out of people all the time, <laughs> is uh, the Immortal God, the Immortal God. Oh, I think you were talking to me about that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, and he slaps the shit out of people. I mean, <laughs> smack, smack, smack. Because they always deny him. They're like, oh, you can't be this great. He's like, what? Smack. <laughs> and there was a one of the translators was like, uh-oh, here it comes. The smacks are on their way. I tune into it because I call them skibbity paps. <laughs> here comes the skibbity paps. He's not slapping bums. He's slapping masters. I'm the master of the one G five. Ooh, smack smack. You ain't nothing. <laughs> but the one, the greatest gem is Solo Leveling Warriors. That one snuck up on me, and I was like, "Whoa, yeah, this is beast mode." But it, it can't stand up to the, you know, the greatest. But it is a good one. Did you slide it in there? It is very enjoyable. Do you like Tower of God or God of High School more? I like them both. What are you talking about, man? Yeah, I know. what? You brought him up at the same time uh, when it, this was like five, six years ago. But I was just curious. The God of High School went on a tangent, and it's kind of hardcore. The Tower of God went on a tangent, and he is super hardcore. Just somebody's looking at him like, uh, "You don't even belong here, son." But he's stronger than everybody. They don't even know. Oh, uh, okay. <laughs> on some One Punch Man type beat. Oh man, that dude cheats, and I love it. Oh yeah, yeah. He's the greatest cheater on uh on the planet, and I love the fact that he is. But he say he did. I did hundred push ups. I did hundred sit ups, and I didn't turn on the air conditioner for the summertime. Went bald, went stupid. Is that the power up? Is that why you went bald for the power up? Yeah, one punch man is comedy gold. Would you rather have a devil fruit or all three hockeys? Ooh. You got to go with the hockey because you can find a devil fruit with the hockey yeah. and defeat a devil fruit with the hockey. But you can't with a devil. I mean, you might get a devil fruit like uh, the jacket man, the liquid man. The jacket fruit is dookie. There's a lot of dookie devil. Fruit. <laughs> that one had me. I was like, oh, you going to fight the jacket man? OK. Yeah. I mean, there's a lot of dookie devil fruits, but I can tell you this, that uh, unless you got a devil fruit that turns you like the into the Nico God, you ain't. You, the rest of it's trash yeah. because your hockey, especially Conqueror's hockey. Yeah. Come on now. Shanks is my favorite character in One Piece. Oh man, reason. come on. You don't love Shanks, but your favorite? Oh yeah, Shanks and Sabo are my two favorites. <sighs> Shanks is raw. I'm not gonna get into it with you. Shanks is raw. He's the elite. Everybody loves Shanks because he's mysterious and he's got all this great power. He and ain't he, and he makes. He ain't mysterious no more. Luffy came from nowhere and wears his way into the kingdom. Did he come out of nowhere or is his grandfather Garp, his dad Dragon, and his brothers Ace and Sabo? He came from nowhere. That's Nobody why he came him. from nowhere. Dad, he was born to be great. He was born to be the guy. And also, where would Luffy be if Shanks didn't give up his arm? That's the first chapter. Shanks, think about this. Think about this. Shanks gave up his arm because he knew what Luffy was. Yeah, so who does that make the GOAT? There ain't no One Piece without Shanks. Shanks gave up the arm because he knew Luffy was the GOAT. He's like, hey, he ain't he the said GOAT. He, yet, he, he said he will be, but right now, there's one. I get you, but, and you know who my favorite cast member is, One Piece? Bo Beckman? Zoro. Oh, Zoro's Zorro. That's Zorro. Yeah, Zoro's Zorro. He'll get lost in the closet, but 
Zorum brings it. Do you know the meme that he's racist? What? Ain't no way in hell. Because he only, for like the first like 200, 300 chapters, he only fights black people in the, in the thing. <laughs> and he kills all of them. So they call him, nah, they call he, him <laughs> on uh, online, they call him Minority Hunter Zoro. But yeah, Zoro, my man. Oh, what is the best anime to start with if you've never watched anime before? Never watched anime before. The best one to start with, I suggest Bleach. It dives in quicker. You can go with Dragon Ball, but you have to go with Dragon Ball Z rather than Dragon Ball, because Dragon Ball is kitty. I watched Dragon Ball Z first and went back to Dragon Ball. I was like, what the fuck? I turned it off. Yeah. This is trash. <laughs> okay. I understand why they did it. They were building a character. They were building Goku. They were building Boma. They were building uh, their stuff together. But if I was doing it, I'd do Bleach. Who's who, what's what, and what's going on? Most people say that Full Metal Alchemist is the the typical answer for like if you want to get started Blah! no don't do you it don't like Full Metal Alchemist? i love it it's just confusing as hell <laughs> what's confusing it's just equivalent exchange yeah who the fuck's gonna know what that means what uh exchange what do you mean equivalent exchange imagine i'm a 10 year old and i'm watching anime for the first time bleach is going to explain it to me where i understand dad what the what the hell is a was is an espada when you start with Bleach at the very beginning, they teach you everything. They tell you everything. Shinigami, I'm a death god. I was a death god. I put these kids who were, or these people who died, I send their souls to heaven or to the place. So it's easier to understand. I don't know. I don't know, Chief. And that's just my opinion. Pokemon's another one, actually, too. It's If you're young and you're like 10 years old, I would, I'll, I'll throw the 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 younger one the kiddier ones in there personal i will never watch pokemon it's fire i don't care it's a good show i watched Yu-Gi-Oh first yeah you did we used to watch Yu-Gi-Oh. i do remember that yeah i watched it just the series not too long ago got your brother into it he didn't watch it all oh yeah he goes a good one then got some cards <laughs> how did you feel or how do you feel i guess knowing that uh that i'm like big in anime that like you can that we like talk about anime and stuff like that. Oh, bruh. It's like talking to myself. <laughs> I got another person out there that's like me that's helping me find stuff that I enjoy to watch and read and I care about deeply. You might find some manga. I might find something hentai. <laughs> <laughs> oh, <I'm just> <laughs> that's one of the questions. <laughs> I was just about to ask you that next question. <laughs> 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 I'm, just, I'm just joking I'm so happy that you picked it up and I'm so proud that you enjoy the same type of thing that I do so we, we have a thing to connect with but I'm not that's not the only thing you know what I'm saying it's something that, that we can throw out there that it's really heavy with us we can be like oh bro did you see <laughs> yeah, this yeah. And I'm like no I didn't see it don't talk about it yet I'm about to watch it I'm on my way home but for you, it's still sort of, a, especially because you're as old as you are now. Like you don't have like. Hey, a, hey, hey! <laughs> I didn't say how old you were. I'm just saying, as people get older, that their interests and like their hobbies and the stuff that they like when they were younger, it starts to like fade out, and they just don't have, either have time for it or it's like a young thing. But for you, you are somebody that's like, the stuff you like, the stuff you like. It doesn't matter what anybody thinks. Because for me, I can, I can, t I can tweet or. I can just say I like an anime or whatever, and I can have 40 people talking to me about the anime, especially now that I like do YouTube for it. But for you, I think it's right. a, it's a really special relationship because, like, from, you know? from yeah, for me to be your son, that you know, yeah, you always you. you always you have you always yeah. have access to me. You'd be like, you gotta see this, you gotta watch this. I feel like that's the Goblin Slayer, dude, yeah. Shield, uh, Master Shield, or whatever. Oh, Rising of the Shield Hero, the one you got mad Rising at. Rising of the Shield Hero, yeah. <laughs> uh, me and you, we talk about a lot. A lot of stuff that you suggest, I go read. Some of it, I'm like, yeah. Most of it, I'm like, oh my god. Yeah, but that's probably like the thing that I'm the happiest about is that something that you really like and like love. I have the ability to be one of the few people that you feel like you can communicate to and like understands it without having to like sit down and explain it. Well, I got a question for you then. Yeah. Do you think you would have liked anime regardless of whether I liked it or not? Oh, for sure. Because before we even, I, I think I started watching Dragon Ball Z, I was like three or four 
when he used to put it on and like he used to play like Dragon Ball Z Budokai and stuff like that. Uh, but like my favorite show growing up on like Cartoon Network was this show called Zoids. Have you ever heard of it? Zoids. Oh yeah. Zoids. And it was this random like French or Canadian anime. And it was like my favorite thing. And I used to go to daycare and I would always talk about Zoids. And it turned out to be an anime. And I ended up getting into like Code Lyoko, which is an anime. And I used, I got into like Yu-Gi-Oh. Dragon Ball Z was kind of the catalyst. That's like a special thing. But I didn't even know those other things were anime. I was like, this is hard. Pokemon, I was like, that's, find out that's an anime. I was like, oh, this is cool. They would just scrap uh, immediately. And so it was really cool to, like, I was six. I was like, what? He just summoned a dragon from the sword? I'm about to, I'm about to commit my whole life. I'm committing my whole life to, to, to watching this. Just having you also like it kind of just reinforced the idea that it was cool. You know what I mean? Have you seen Gundam? Uh, what? Yeah. But do you know a lot about it? Because the question is, what's the best? No. I was going to say, what's the best Gundam suit? I, I haven't seen enough. I haven't seen Gundam since I was like nine. Gundam is not really my cup of tea uh, anyway no I'm not a gundam fan me neither I, I mobile suit and then iron iron something works i can't remember the other those are the only two that i really got into and that one was really depressing so your question sucks sorry uh do you agree that akira is one of the main reasons that anime is so popular uh in the west right yes 100 percent. that show um, even though it's freaky as fuck, yeah, it brought you gave me nightmares. Uh, Eastern culture to Western culture, and it was like, hey, look, we got something here that we're just throwing out there, and you you do with a lot of mind energy and mind this and stuff like that. But it was a lot of killing that was going on in there, yeah. Which you know, us Westerners, we love somebody to get shot up and killed. <laughs> I mean, you were killed with a mind this time. So it was like, ooh, what is this? Something new. And Kimura was one of the, is the show. That and uh, Open Lead. I was just about to ask you if, if you've seen that. Wow, that's crazy. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, bro. Come on. Those are the two shows that brought everything to uh, the United States. They're both controversial because of the content of the, the, the character that was there. Like, Kimura, you don't know whether it was a dream or was it real or whether it was what's going on same with uh neon genesis even yeah i didn't i didn't watch that one really? but you those those two were the two that came over from east to west that brought everything to this is really good stuff and then dragon ball z came and it was like no this is really great stuff <laughs> if you had to rename me after an anime character what would my name be yeah, if I named you after an anime character, I would probably name you after uh, Goku. Yeah. That's what you would be. You'd be Goku. I'm the goat? Goat. Bad. Bounce. <laughs> you heard it here first. Huh? No, I'm telling them. You heard it here first. I mean, if that's what my if that's what my father thinks, then. You'd be bounce. Goku. Badass motherfucker. I understand it. So, you already answered this, but have you seen Hentai? And what is, if you have one, your favorite hentai? Bro, Go ahead. all right. It's not bad because you, you have to incorporate all anime when you watch anime. It pops up on my screen right now. I'm watching uh, Max Level Returner. I'm reading Max Level Returner right now. Just read Existence. You know, oh, it, it pops up every now and again. You get a little curious. I mean, I really don't. I just pop up and watch it on the screen and I click off and go back to what I was reading. I don't spend a lot of time with it. But I do like making fun of it sure. because of the name. It sounds funny. Hentai. <laughs> sure you don't. Sure you don't be invested time. No, I don't. It. Seriously, I don't. <laughs> I mean, it's one of the, it's like Ichi. I have no idea what that is. Yeah, it's the same thing as hentai. If you go uh, to Japanese and you go to watch an Ichi cartoon, the same thing as hentai. Why do you know more about this than me? <laughs> this is crazy. Oh, because it pops up all the damn time. So you see it and you're like, ah. Click. Do you know what, you, do you know what Yaoi is? Is that, uh, Yai? Wait, what? Yaoi? Uh, boy on boy? Yeah, it is. <laughs> I was just curious. I was just testing your knowledge. That, that, yeah. There's pop ups for everything, <laughs> trust me. If you click a pop up, don't be surprised what you get. But you don't have a favorite, because you don't, that's not you. No. <laughs> I mean, you watch Fairy Tale, so it's close enough. The way that they be showing it, man. No, bro. It, every episode is just titties all over the screen. Just the biggest titty you've ever seen. It's uh, lightly covered. 
they're lightly covered. I had to I had to quit watching it because it was too much. I was like, I need to see people fighting. I was trying to see a dragon kick somebody in the head. And they was fighting a lot on there. Not enough. It was like four episodes in a row where they was in the bathtub. I was like, I can't do this. I need to see somebody scrapping. Well, that's the uh, the anime that I said had the greatest name for a character in history, and he was uh, Natsu. He was a dude that went from dimension to other dimension. Is it Mr. Gun? You talking about Mr. Gun? Yeah, I love it. My favorite character, I think he has the hardest name. His name's Osamu Dazai. Who? Osamu Dazai. What the hell's that? It's from Bungo Stray Dogs. You ever seen it? Man, no, that's crazy. He's hard. He's the best character. He's my favorite character in anime, but him and Ao Mine from Kurokono Basket. He's the greatest scorer of all time. He can't miss. He get, he was beating people. He was like eight. He was beating like 30 year olds. He's like, I gotta quit basketball. I'm too good at it. Come on, man. It's that good. is not basketball. It's that ain't good. real. I was mad at that show from the first episode. I turned it off and threw a rock at it. Mad. Okay. Who is your favorite? Who is your best girl? Who's your Who's your lady? I think I know who it is. I think I already know who it is. And if you nah. if you don't answer with it, you're lying because you used to talk about this girl all the time. My favorite girl in anime. That's a good one. If I don't go with Form of Threes, then I'm gonna go with Urza Scarlet. You're lying to me. It's Yodoichi. Who? It's Yodoichi. No. You talked about her dad. There no. were there was like a week straight where you just talked about Yodoichi. Yeah, because she's freaking crazy. But the reason why, Boma, she got that money. She got that <laughs> Urza got that strength. <laughs> I love that the first thing was she got that money. <laughs> Got that money you taking care of. Hey, why you think Vegeta hooked up with her? He living lavish <laughs> on a yacht, a seven story yacht. And I'm like, man, Bubba Bruce has got it. And her and Urza. Honestly, though, too loud. Too loud. Oh, no. A, a girl in action. Uh, The one from Bleach. Rengiku? No, no, Rengiku. The ice. After she got her ice powers, Rukia? where her ice powers, Rukia. Uh -huh. Yeah, Rukia. She's the one who would probably be the max. Is there anything that you want to say? You have a ton of fans. People, every time I bring you up, people freak out about you loving anime and stuff like that. So, is there anything you want to say to the, to the young people? I say this don't change who you are. Love what you love and continue to do what you do. Even if it's not popular, eventually it will be. Even if it's only with you that it's popular. Continue to do that. Me and my son, we got a great connection with anime right now. And anime is super popular around the world. It's, it's continuing to be more and more popular. So you never know. Just do you. Don't worry about everybody else at all. There's my dad. Are you gonna be? Are you gonna be on more video? What's going on? Are you gonna be on more videos? Uh, if you invite me, I'll come back. We're gonna have to send you a camera and a microphone because I'm not gonna deal with 480p old dad vibes it took us it took us 30 minutes just to get this call together because he couldn't figure out how discord worked and he has hey, a hey, discord why did you say <laughs> he has a discord he couldn't even figure it out <laughs> old man technology he didn't they don't have the glasses on either anyway this is me this is my dad uh have a good one uh be safe and neither of us are alcoholics uh we just play that on the internet goodbye <laughs> Nice one, Tevin.